Well, guys, I cannot believe it has been a month. Honestly, the last time I checked my channel, it was two weeks since I posted a video. I can't believe I haven't updated you guys. What caused me probably about two weeks of this delay for a video was these handlebars. And I picked them up because I just needed a much more comfortable position. I do a lot of longer rides, and the drag bars are really cool. But for me, these are super duper comfortable. I absolutely love them. But when I went to put them on, I didn't even think about my cables. I had to get a longer one, ordered it, put it on. I had to get a longer clutch cable, ordered that. When I went to go do the brake, I realized it had pinched right into the steering lock and I didn't even secure anything down because I was still just working on the bike and I was like, God damn it, fucking tore it right up. Had to throw it out, get a new one. It's not worth it. It's 30 bucks. It's like, whatever. Lesson learned. Don't make the same mistake as me. I'm kind of picking up uh, bits and boops and got this green nylon wrap, put it around the bars, thought it gave it a really cool different look. Also picked up just those wire wraps, um, just gently zip tied them around where the top is so they stay. I think it looks super cool, kind of covers the wires, kind of covers some of the throttle cable. And then I had an old gas mask and it's very sad, I'm super disappointed, but I'm gonna have to take it off. I pulled out the glass and put in some wire mesh to help more airflow because the headlight gets super hot. I can't see shit at night. I went on a ride the other night and coming home on the freeway, couldn't see a thing. I had to figure something out for this, but other than that, um, I think the bike's coming together really well. I might just get this dual headlights. This is going to be the first part of a series of building a Wasteland bike. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Wasteland Weekend, it's this event that happens in SoCal, way out in the desert somewhere. I'll throw some links down below. I'm not gonna make it this year. I think it's in September. But if you guys have the extra cash and some time in September, definitely go to this event. It looks so fucking killer. Look up some videos and stuff. Some people have posted some uh, pretty cool coverage of the event, and I'm definitely gonna go. I love Mad Max Fury Road and to see the bikes in that movie and then just looking up rack bikes. Rack bikes in general are my real inspiration for this bike and I've always, I feel like a lot of people have always kind of wanted to do like that kind of thing, like do a Mad Max bike, but you really have to go all out. You got to paint your bike, you got to do a lot of stuff. After seeing this event and seeing what people did to their cars and stuff like that, I was like, hell yeah, I got to do this. This is going to be so awesome. Sadly, like I said, the gas mask is going to change. Maybe I'll find some dual headlights if you guys really like it, but I think I can come up with something even cooler, even more unique. I know Street Fighters already have, like, a lot of people do the gas mask on the Street Fighter. So I did the handlebars, the headlight, I did the tank, I painted it, blacked it out. I don't know if you guys can see, I did a little bit of a green tint, and what I'm actually going to do is, I painted this right over because I really didn't care. That's the, the whole heart and soul of a rat bike is just fuck it up, right? So I'm going to scratch it out until you can see the red underneath. And I think that's going to look super cool. Also, shout out to Ninja Nero for your fucking keychain, dude. You guys don't know watch his videos. This dude's ridiculous. Follow him on Instagram. Go check him out because he's fucking hilarious, dude. Brings a smile to my face every day. Still a lot of things I want to do to this bike. Next thing is probably going to be the uh, wheels on it. Just black them out. Um, I might do something crazy and do like a stripe or something like white, black, white, black. And the rest, uh, red. Who knows? Uh, next week is going to be the seat. I've already got all the foam for it. Get that all re covered. So for anybody who's watching this video and you're inspired to make your own rat bike or wasteland bike or whatever it is that you want to call it, go for it. I want to hear your comments, your ideas, what you think you want to do to your bike, what you think might look cool for this bike. I'm always trying to brainstorm different things that I want to do for the bike. To be totally honest, if you don't like where I'm going with the bike and you're like, why are you doing that to this Worcester? Burr, burr, burr. You should just keep it this way. You know what? Dude, this video is not for you and you can go somewhere else with your negative comments because I think trying to be more creative and trying to build something different and unique and have my bike look exactly how I want it to look is more important than trying to make other people happy. So if somebody says something about your bike that you're thinking about doing and they're like, don't do that, that's stupid. You know what, you should do this instead. Screw them because the reality is at the end of the day, it's your bike. You're going to do what you want to do to it. So tell them to stick it up their buttholes and you do what you want to your bike. Really appreciate you guys' patience. I can't believe I've already hit over 2,000 subscribers. This is absolutely insane. I want to continue maybe a couple how-tos on how I'm going to do my own Wasteland style bike. Because I think this thing is looking cool as tits, man. Slap that 1200 kit on it and then watcha! You better watch out because I'm going to be all up on the streets. There he goes. 
<laughs> Woo!